It's the way it, call up and you weigh it. Now we get to talk about everything you're saying. Analyzing topics, dropping knowledge, we ain't playing. When you think it's about to end, shit, we crank it up again. Hold up. Ah, uh, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We back with another one. You already know what it is. It's the weigh-in boxing. We live with the weigh-in reaction. This is my reaction to the weigh-in, ladies and gentlemen, between Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford, both look in tremendous, tremendous physical shape. Their physical shape is on Paramount. I'm talking about shredded. They both came out happy and ready to one step on the scales for the fans to see, but two, to congratulate each other. I love that little interaction between both of them where both of them was able to congratulate each other. Listen, we did this. We came together, we got on the phone, and we did this. This is a year after we tried to have the suits get it done, but they couldn't get it done, but we did this. Earl clearly said that to Terrence Crawford. You got to thank me for making this fight. Why I got to make the fight when... It's my name first on the list. Why I got to flip a coin? Why I got to do this? Why I got to do that? So it's amazing to see that both these fighters, one, they don't got a raw rod to show respect that we both about to make some money. Now, mind you, maybe if there was a little bit of raw rod, we might have got maybe another 500,000 buys on pay-per-view because, you know, that, that, that type of energy sells. And so it never happened. They respected each other, which you have to respect that two fighters, two brothers, are respecting each other at the weigh-ins. They both made the weight. Errol Spence came in at 147 on the dot. Terrence Crawford came in at 146.8, 146 and three quarters, they call it. And they both faced off. And we have a tremendous fight on our hands. I'm excited for it, man. This is the fight of the decade, the fight of the era, the fight of the century. This is a fight that we've all been waiting for for a long time, especially... It's two tremendous fighters in their primes. Two tremendous fighters who has never lost before. Now, we've had Floyd and Manny, but both were past their primes. Manny had about three or four losses. He'd been knocked out by Marquez before. Um, you know, a few other losses in between. He lost to Jeff Horn, so on and so forth. So Manny was, you know, damaged good at that point. But nonetheless, but that was probably before he fought Jeff Horn. But nonetheless, he had about four or five losses at that particular point in his career when he fought Floyd Mayweather. But right now, both Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence are undefeated. And it's for all the marbles. The Manny and Floyd fight, they really have no... It wasn't for Undisputed. It was for Legacy. This is a Legacy fight. But it also Legacy that has so much implications. One, the record. They've never lost before. So somebody's O has got to go. Number two, for all the marbles is to be one of those males in the four belt era to be undisputed it is bragging rights you have team spence saying spence is gonna do what he do can he eat a big fish you have team crawford that bud gonna do what he do he the aquaman big fish versus aquaman like that's what we got going on three a rematch Rematches in place for both fighters can call for a rematch so they can make another big bag if the first fight proves to be what it's supposed to be. The second fight going to be even nicer. The second fight going to be even nicer, which is what you want, which is amazing. I'm happy and I'm excited about it. I hope you guys are excited about it. The weigh-ins definitely lived up to, to me, the hype. I know everybody was waiting for the pushing and the shoving, but the fact that they were able to change the intensity the dynamic of the weigh-in by slapping hands. No rah-rah coming together and talking the way they were talking to one another with respect. Salute to them. Because again, they're proving to fighters that at the end of the day, it's up to you two fighters whether or not you want the fight to be done. If you want the fight to be done, it's simple. All you have to do is get with the other opponent. Somebody, they got to be concessions either way. Got to be giving up on this side, giving up on this side. But nonetheless, it can happen. It can happen. There just has to be the right balance at the right time. The talking is almost over. The talking is almost over. They both made the weight. So half the battle's already done, which is the scale. They both made the weight. 
Now it's time for them to get in the ring and put on performance. Let me know in the comment section who you picking. Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford. You know, it's a seesaw back and forth, 50-50. Let's go, man. It's the Wayne Boxing. Hit the like button one time for the algorithm. Hit the share button. Let other people know about the video, about the content we're dropping over here. And we appreciate it so very much. Everybody out in Vegas getting the content. Salute to y'all. Y'all stay safe. A lot of things going on there in Vegas. But none bigger than Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford. I appreciate y'all tapping in for sure. Like I said before, hit that subscribe button if you haven't, man. Look at both these brothers showing love and respect to one another. They about to rip each other's head off. But they both, they both showing respect. Like, yeah, we about to do this. We about to make history. And we about to make bank. You got to love and respect that, man. So shout out to y'all. You already know what it is. It's Francis from the Wayne Boxing. My reaction to the Wayans. I'm Audi. 5,000. It's the Wayan. Call up in your Wayan. Now we get to talk about everything you're saying. Analyzing topics, dropping knowledge. We ain't playing when you think it's about to end. Should we crank it up again? Hold up.